Hey guys, it's Josh from Virginia Fly Fishing. Today I'm just going to do a, uh, a little tutorial video. Now let me provide a little bit of a disclaimer here. By no means do I claim to be a great fly caster. Uh, I'm just, you know, a guy that fishes a lot. Um, I like to fish. I like to, I love to fly fish. It's a, my favorite hobby I've ever gotten into. But um, this is what works for me. Take it for what you want to take it for. Uh, if you're starting out in the sport, just getting started. Uh, this could be something that, uh, you know, gets you rolling without, you know, having to, and, and, and I am for taking a casting class if you have that local or going out with your local guide, you know, that's invaluable experience that you can't trade for anything. I mean, I find it funny people are, they'll spend so much money on fly rods and gear, but when they look at a trip that may cost, you know, three or $400 to go out and float, they don't want to pay the money. Um, I understand some people can't. I've never been on a float trip. But uh, if, you, if you have the money, you're not only paying for the trip and the chance to catch fish, you're paying for the experience of that guide to, uh, you know, get you on the right, get you started right. Because you can form a lot of bad habits, and I'm sure I have a lot myself. But another point that I want to get across here, this rod, look at this. I was going through some of my dad's stuff and found this rod. That half the handle's broken off. It's old. It's an eight-foot rod. It's missing the main guide eye. I mean, missing the main big eye here. And we're just, the point I'm trying to make here, you don't have to have uh, Orvis Helios or a Sage One or, you know, a super expensive rod just to, to get in the sport and enjoy yourself and get out there and catch fish. So anyway, we're just going to go over some basic casts and then later on, if this gets some views and you guys like it, we'll, we'll, work, we'll go through a double haul and um, things like that. So here we go. Hey guys, here I am. I don't know if you can see very well. Uh, we're going to get out. 10 for a line, okay? When you're fly casting, you're, you may be used to bait fishing or something like that. What you do with bait fishing is you throw the, the weight on the end of the rod. You have a lure or something like that that's a bit heavier. With a fly rod, the flies are almost weightless unless you're throwing streamers or something like that. But the bend of the rod loads the line, the weight of the line. You're casting the line. The most important thing that I can get through to you is don't go back too far too far forward, right? What I like to tell people when they first start casting, you don't have to keep the line in the air. You know, you don't have to do that. Uh, what you want to do at first, you can even do it. It doesn't matter if you do it over your head, to your side, over your shoulder, or whatever, any other way. As long as you keep, the most important part is your, your fly rod goes in a straight line every time. You don't want to deviate from the path go straight back, straight forward. Another thing I like to mention is the stop. And a lot of people use the clock 10 and 2 or 10, 2, 10, 2, 10, 2. Something like that. You can do that if you'd like to do that. But, you know, when you get longer cast, I go back to 9 o'clock sometimes if I'm really bombing a, a really long cast with a double haul. I don't think that's largely the important part. But what I like to tell people to do when they first start casting is uh, you can just throw it behind you. Let it land. Pick it up. Throw it forward. Let it land. Just get a feel for the line in the air. Throw it behind you. Let it land. Throw it forward. Let it land. I mean, you're not dealing with a whole lot of line here. And when you do start soft casting, one of the important things is the straight line. Keep it in a straight line. I don't care if it's sideways, over your head, behind your head, whatever. That doesn't matter. As long as you're in a straight line, say you have a tree right over your head and you see a fish rising under you, you can go really low to the ground. I mean, that's not a big deal either. You can do all that stuff. That's okay. Um, but the most important part of getting that tight loop, the transitional line, again, your rod is bending and that's loading the line. Wherever your tip of your rod goes, that's where your line's going to go. It's, I mean, it's not rocket science. So if you want to aim here, tip of your rod. That's where your line's going to go. Aim right, tip of your rod. You know, and you can pop cap while changing direction. So you see a fish rise here. Okay, lay it down. He doesn't hit. Oh, no one rises over here. There you go. So you can do that. But the most important part is stop it. You stop on your back cast. Let the loop roll out. Stop on your forward cast. Let the loop roll out. You don't want to just keep going. The loop will get loose. You'll tangle up. See what I mean? I'm keeping going. Now, look how that loop is not tied anymore. Even if I try to soft cast. See, we're not keeping a tight loop. When you put this stop, you stop, 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 stop. When you 
put the stops in there, your loops get a lot tighter, your rod bends appropriately, sudden stop will throw the loop behind you, sudden stop on your forward cast, throw the loop in front of you. So again, stop, 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 stop. And we're not shooting line or anything like that. That'll be in another video. Let's just get you started. Stop, 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 stop. There you go. See, just like that. And there's not a whole lot to it. A lot of people make fly fish, and I think, a lot harder than it should be. But look at this. I mean, you're just, you're just stop, 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 stop. Another good tip, I like to tell people when they first start to cast it, you can look behind you. Watch it roll out. When it gets rolled out, look forward. See, as it rolls out, you can watch it. And then you know when to go forward. Stop, 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 stop. You're watching your line. And when you cast a lot, you'll, you'll become still. You know, you'll, you'll all become still and you'll be okay. But again, yeah, those are the basic principles of casting. Just stop on the back, stop on the forward, keep your rod in a straight line on the way back, rod in a straight line on the way forward, and you'll be on your way to catching fish left and right. I mean, you just got to get that basic cast. It doesn't, for a trout stream, you don't have to be able to bomb a, a double haul 80 feet. You know, you can you can throw those 10, 15 foot cast with your leader on there. You got another eight or nine feet, you know. You're 20 feet in with minimal effort or without knowing how to shoot lines. So you can practice in the yard and again, cheap rod or whatever, cheaper line too. Um, I just wanted to prove you don't have to have state-of-the-art equipment to get out there and fish. Uh, you can get in your yard and cast, you know, that's, it costs you nothing to get out in your yard and cast. And that's a great thing to uh, try to get in the habit of doing when you're first starting. Uh, but nothing beats experience on the water. Don't be afraid to get out there, tie on some flies. You'll lose some flies, big deal. Get out there, have a good time. Cast as far as you can. If you can't cast further, wait out and hit the run you want to get with that 10 foot cast we just learned. So yeah, get out there and uh, fish again this is josh from uh, virginia fly fishing hope you enjoyed this video um we'll, do, we'll go over a single haul and then we'll go over um you know a double haul later on first of all we'll talk about shooting line and uh, things like that so yep hope you guys have a great day get out there and go fishing see you later